Okay, let's start the day off with some isotope questions. So the first one, uh, the atomic symbol for two isotopes of chlorine are shown below. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for each. So, um, what do we have here? We've got uh, the two major isotopes of chlorine, uh, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. And uh, they want you, of course, like it says, to calculate the protons, neutrons, and electrons of each of these things. So, they're atoms, not ions. So, you know that uh, the number of protons and are, number of protons and electrons are the same. And that's going to be the same as the atomic number right there. So remember, the atomic number is written on the, as a subscript to the left of the atomic symbol. So um, that shows the number of protons, right? So in chlorine, to be a chlorine atom, you have to have 17 protons. And to be a neutral chlorine atom, then that means you have to have 17 electrons. Okay. So now, we just need to know about the neutrons. So how do we figure out the neutrons? It's just the mass number, which is up here, minus the atomic number, which is down there. So here we've got 20, because 37 minus 17 is 20, and 35 minus 17, of course, is 18. So that's how you calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And we've done that before for individual atoms, but I guess now we're looking at things that are isotopes and comparing them against each other. And what we see is the only difference between these isotopes are that their mass numbers are different because the number of neutrons that they have is different. Okay.